It's the 1st of July 2017 and Microsoft just changed the name yet again for the ERP system formerly known as AX. It's now called Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations Enterprise Edition. And I think it's a very descriptive and good naming convention for the product as it is, even though it's a mouthful, it is exactly what it is. It's an ERP system and if you want to describe it in any other way, you could throw in supply chain and manufacturing and all these other, but I think operation covers it. So. Finance is an important thing uh, and operations. And we talked back in February with uh, then Microsoft uh, Executive Marketing uh, for ERP, uh, Pepine Richter. And he talked to us about kind of hinted to the naming conventions being changed and I actually asked him to change it. So I can't really complain. Check out what we talked about and have a great summer. We've, I think we've talked about it on every episode. That is the difficulty of pronouncing Dynamics 365 for operations when talking about the product. So um, now that we got you on, <laughs> could you kind of elaborate on, on, on the, the, the idea of this? Because we talked to Marcus Vogelberg last, uh, last yep. podcast, and he said pretty clearly, just operations. Uh, so the full naming of it is hard. And that's, that's not an issue, really. It's, it's, it's a mouthful, but it, it kind of works. The way the thing that kind of stirs it for me is the, the financials, because we have financials in operations. And what's the idea behind the naming convention of of the the, the different apps? And any any plans on on changing those? <laughs> um, so um, let me start with your first question around um, Dynamics three sixty five. Yep. Um, and I I wanted to. Um, Kind of make that parallel with Office 365 again, um, so, so see how that is used. I, I I don't think that people are transacting Word and Excel anymore. Um, so you're talking about Office that you use. Um, so I I see over time uh, a shift towards uh, we are using Dynamics, and then depending on um, what business process you're talking about, you're talking about sales or operations or servers or. Um, human resources or finance. So on the long run, I think I, I'm hoping that's where um, we are heading towards as a, as a community in terms of um, of using the product. Uh, of course, there is a lot of legacy and history with uh, with people with certain products, uh, which is always kind of um, it needs time to overcome that. Um, so that's one. Then secondly, around the specific naming of the apps, what what a I have been in ERP for quite a quite a while. I think about 25 years now, or more than 25 years. Um, there's no alternative for ERP uh, naming. Um, here internally, we have gone through several rounds of alternative for ERPs, but that it's there's just not anything like ERP. ERP says it all. Um, the the challenge from an ERP system and also ERP is. Um, is to target specific problems. And if you look at AX, it's like a Swiss army knife. Um, you can do so many things with it. I mean, you can help retailers, you can help uh, public sector organizations. Um, marketing that really well is really hard for us. Um, so what is really nice with these um, separate apps is that you actually address a very specific problem for um, a very specific business owner. Um, so you you target a, a sales process, a sales engagement, a customer engagement process, um, and the business owner is the VP of sales. Um, so naming uh, that app that solves that pro business problem is really easy because it's Dynamics 365 for sales. Um, so everybody knows what you're talking about. Um, if you're looking at customer service, same thing. So that, that's the ultimate goal. Um, we try to move away from the word ERP. Um, we felt that operations is probably um, um, as close as possible uh, to kind of ERP. Uh, but everybody can have an opinion about that. I, I also think that we as Microsoft need to spend more time explaining what operations is and that we trans, uh, that we went from a product in market, Microsoft Dynamics AX, to a product Dynamics 365 for operations. So we need to spend some time on that. I think over time, when we parse out um, uh, specific domains um, into separate apps, it becomes much more easy because suddenly if you parse out, and I, I just give an example, finance, for instance, if you parse that out into a separate app, suddenly um, it's much easier because you are talking about a financial process with 
the CFO as the business owner. So calling that thing uh, is much easier because it's it, the scope is much more precise. So I'm hoping that we get there because then everybody knows what we are talking about. Yeah, well, you kind of went down a, a narrow path there. So you're talking about CFO. So a CFO of a big, big enterprise comes in and says, I need to look at financials. They go in yeah. and they look at financial and they see an outlook client with sales and they say, well, we have manufacturing. So yeah, bye bye so, financials. So I believe we need to do a little bit of work in positioning uh, the additions because the additions become really important. So going back to my, my first response. So I believe that the first conversation with customers will be around Dynamics 365 and then we will choose. Um, do you have an enterprise organization or do you have a small and medium business? Um, yeah. So we, we need to position these two, um, what we call um, additions, much better in uh, our conversations with customers. Yeah. Um, because it, it doesn't make sense to have a conversation with a large enterprise uh, customer that has um, multiple operations in uh, multiple countries that's doing intercompany inter transfers that needs consolidations, needs um, commitment accounting uh, to have a conversation um, with a small business product around it. So, um, so you, you will have, we will have these two editions. The go to markets for these, these editions will be, will be very different um, in the market. Uh, and that will, I think, take away uh, or that will, then we won't end up in the problems um, having a discussion about a single product. Um, that could be mistaken. So I, I, I think it's the it's it's a very different conversation that we're going to have with customers, starting with kind of what are your business challenges and what is the business, what is the scope of uh, kind of implementation that you want to uh, want to address, and then look at kind of what is the set with apps that fits with that. <laughs>